unlikely stories of this football season. We are witnessing one with a star above it. End zone bound. Perfect pass. Touchdown, Chargers. So few thought they even had a chance in their own division, much less be the representative of the AFC in the Super Bowl. No team in the NFL enjoys a greater home field advantage than the Seattle Seahawks. They've stormed their way to an NFC championship with a style that's been anything but quiet. Once he's on, Mullins gets away. He's got to have somebody open. And he does! DK Metcalf! And that's going to be a Seahawk touchdown! Wow! Toward the end zone! It is... Super Bowl! What's going on guys? Hustle Beast here, and today we take on the Seattle Seahawks in the Retro Bowl Championship game. Here is our team. Very, very good offense. Solid defense too. We are in the championship game for a reason. We have played very, very well, especially these last three games. And now win or lose, this is the final game of our season. Bryson Whitney is our quarterback. He is a rookie this year, but he is very, very good. He has stepped it up, and he led us from a 3-3 record all the way to 12-5 and, and to the Retro Bowl. Jesse James, very, very solid running back. Carter Clemens and Tyson McNeil are tight ends. Very, very clutch tight ends. They always seem to have a catch whenever we need them the most. We got Ziggy Peep, our stud wide receiver. He has made plays for us week in and week out. No matter who is throwing the ball to him, he always comes down with the catch. Dwelly is our wide receiver too. He's a very, very solid backup to Peep. We got Landrum, our linebacker. Even though he is only a rookie, he quickly rose to becoming the leader of the defense on this team, and he is one of the main reasons why they have been so good these past few games. Now to round us out, EJ Wise. He is 34 years old, and this is his last game with us no matter what. Wise is not very good, but he deserves a ring, so let's go out there and win for Wise. One last look at the team before the big game, and here is Seattle. They are 11-6, and six, but... Their record does not necessarily reflect how good of a team they are. Most of their losses were very, very close. They could just as easily have been the one seed. They also have our former quarterback, Darnell Mullins. We played last season with him and a few games this season before we traded him at the deadline. Very, very intense knowing that he is on the other team, but one of us today is going to walk away with a ring. It's going to take a very, very good game to beat Seattle, but I think with this team, with these players, we can make it happen. Welcome to New Orleans, home of the Saints and site of Retro Bowl 59. Retro Bowl 59 is underway as Seattle kicks off to us and Butler is going to run this one out from the goal line all the way out to the 27. Very, very good return right there. And the first play of Retro Bowl 59 is an awful play call. We got to use an audible right there. And that's what we like to see, a streak. We're going to take our shot to peep into double coverage. He's got the catch. Now we hand it off to James. James has five yards. Got to get the offense moving on this one. We got McNeil over the middle. He's got the catch in the first down. Dwelly on the streak right here, trying to get it to him. Double coverage, don't really trust him. Whitney is sacked. He is brought down before we get the ball out. And now second and 16, peep on the post. Try and get it to him. Whitney hit as he throws, and that one is caught by James for 16. Third and inches, we give it to James, who is stopped. Fourth and one. We're going to go for this. It's going to be a pass, and Clemens is open over the middle for the first down. 12 yards for Clemens. Good play right there. Definitely paid off. We got Dwelly on the streak right there. Don't really trust him. Get that one away to James for eight yards. Almost intercepted, but Whitney made a good throw, even as he got hit. We'll hand it to James, who has a stiff arm. We'll break outside. Who do we throw to? We're going to throw to Peep up top on the hitch route. No, Whitney is sacked. He tried to run, and he was brought down. Now it's second and goal from the eight. Peep on the slant right here. He is open over the middle for the touchdown. Who else but Ziggy Peep to put us on the board in the Retro Bowl. And now we kick the extra point. It is up and it is good. We lead seven to zero against the Seahawks. Our former quarterback, Darnell Mullins, facing his old team in the Retro Bowl. It doesn't get much better than this in terms of suspense. And now he drives downfield. Butler wasn't strong enough and he scores against his former defense. If you just tuned in for this video, if you're confused as to who I'm talking about, Darnell Mullins is a Seattle quarterback, but he used to play for us. We had him all of last season and a few games this season until we traded him at the deadline, and now we meet again in the championship game. The first time we've seen him since then, and now peep for 17 yards. First quarter quickly drawing to a close. We hand it to James, who has a big run 
13 yards, shedding defenders left and right, and that will end the first quarter. Another handoff to James. He's got two yards, so James is definitely playing well, better than he has in a few of the previous playoff games. You got Peep gonna cut back inside right here. He's got the catch. 10 yards and a first down for Peep. And now maybe Dwelly on the post. Too risky, Whitney will rush. Go ahead and slide for seven. Dwelly gonna cut outside right here. Great throw and four yards, but not enough to put us in the end zone. Now we hand it to James, who will dive in for a touchdown. Extra point right here is up, and it is good. We lead the Seahawks 14 to seven, and we kick off for them. Mullins back on the field, and they're already in the red zone again. Wasting no time is Seattle, and they score. And 14 to 14, we receive the kick with a minute 38 left in this half. Butler taking this from the 10. Got a chance for a good return right here. Out to the 33, not bad at all. Hand it to James. He gets a stiff arm, cutting back inside. Our offense is really coming together here. I'd like to see some defensive progress, though they score very fast. And Whitney's just gonna take this and slide for a first down. Quick toss to Dwelly right here. He was great last game with those yards after catch. We'll see if we can do it again today. Now we go to Peep on the post route, trying to take his shot. It's tipped up and caught by Peep. Dwelly on the post, one on one. He's got a little bit of separation and it's knocked down. A great play by Seattle. No catch for Dwelly there, third and two. Wanna call an audible right here? Yes. McNeil will be open, wide open over the middle is McNeil. First and goal from the six. I wanna give Dwelly a touchdown as well. And he's got it for the touchdown. Excellent catch by Dwelly there for the score. And now extra point is up and it's good. 21 to 14, 14 seconds left. We lead Seattle 21 to 14 at the half and they will receive the second half kickoff. That was a fantastic first half of football. Offense, you guys are doing a great job. Keep on scoring, keep putting it in the end zone. Not really much else to say. Defense, you've got to do something. Okay, we did not fly all the way down here just for you guys to let them run up the score the entire game. Please do something. I don't even care if it's one field goal or a blocked extra point. You have to do something. Other than that, I think we're doing pretty good. Two quarters away from a ring. Let's get this. We are back, and Seattle will receive the second half kickoff. A chance to tie here on this possession. They take it to midfield. Mullins is playing very, very well today. No turnovers, two touchdowns on both drives he's had. They're gonna run it, and they score again. Tied at 21, we receive the kick, and this game is very, very intense. As always with us, it's gonna come down to the final play in the playoffs, or at least it seems like that. We've got Clemens over the middle right here. Gets nine yards. Second and one, we can try and take a shot to Peep. He's on the post route. He's got the catch in 16 yards. Peep again. Uh, no one's really open there. Got to throw that one away. Maybe could have gotten somebody for five yards, but better to not risk it. I want to bullet pass it to Peep. He's on the slant. Hand it to James to see what he can do. Get him involved this half. Gets a stiff arm. Good run from James. He runs over a man. James with the hurdle inside the 20, inside the 10. Makes a man miss, and James will take it in. A 40-yard touchdown run from Jesse James. And the extra point is good. We lead 28 to 21. What a play by James. Incomplete. The defense makes a stop and Seattle punts. It is all coming together for us. The team is playing very, very well. We're gonna take our shot to Dwelly and it's intercepted. Run back by Seattle and we bring him down. Whitney could not throw that ball. That was his max arm strength. In the first half, he's making that throw all day, 10 times out of 10. And now Seattle will score. 28 to 28, we are tied again. Niet right here, still a lot of game left. We gotta be more careful with Whitney's throwing. Okay, look at this, I didn't realize it was this bad. He hits Peep for 16, but normally he's throwing that ball a lot farther than 16 yards. We gotta run more, I guess. No, James is stopped for one. Keep it on the ground, maybe let Whitney try and recover. James is wrapped up for a loss of one. Third and 10, we have got to throw this ball. There's Peep on the streak. He's got the catch and the first down. Great play by Peep right there to move the chains for us. He is the MVP, all right? Playoff Peep, as we call him, and Whitney goes down. He is sacked. Second and 16, toss to Dwelly. He was good at getting yards after catch last game, and now he gets six. Now we'll end the third quarter. Dwelly could not get anything right there, and now it's third and 10. I don't really trust McNeil right there. Now we're gonna go to Peep up top for the first down. Another catch by Peep. I could have gone to McNeil on that last play, but he has a history of tipping the ball up in big moments like this. I wouldn't want to force a turnover right there. Whitney will slide for the first down. Got Peep. Cutting back inside right there. Ooh, good read by Whitney. And Peep will take it in for the touchdown. Great run after catch there, weaving through defenders with this extra point just like that. We are up 35 to 28. Two minutes left to go in the game. 
Come on, defense. Let's see it. And they're going to score 35-35, to 35, a shootout in the Retro Bowl. Minute 52 left to play. Butler will take this one out. This is shaping up to be quite the game for us. It always is in the postseason, but even more so today. Whitney is flushed out, and he fumbles it, and Clemens picks it up. It was almost an awful turnover. A fumble by Whitney. I believe that's his first of the season, and that is not good. Hand it to James right here. Give Whitney a chance to catch his breath. It's a loss of one. Third down and three. What do we do? Dwelly. Dwelly is Mr. Third down. He always has been. Whitney throws it at the ground. Fourth and three. Anybody else would punt this ball. Our defense has allowed 35 points. We have to go for the first down. We're going to go to Peep. He cuts back inside. Whitney gets it away. And Peep with a catch. Almost a sack. Whitney got that ball away. There's Clemens for 15 yards inside the 50. 52 seconds left. We go to Peep up top. He's got 13 yards and out of bounds. Quick toss right here. 44 seconds left. There's Dwelly. McNeil catches that one instead at the 20-yard line. Peep. Somebody. Incomplete. Second and 10, audible. Toss to James. 20 seconds left. Audible right here. Peep on the streak. Tackle at the goal line. First down. Eight seconds to go in the Retro Bowl. Toss to Peep. Incomplete. Four seconds to go in the Retro Bowl. We toss it to Peep. He's got the touchdown. 42 to 35. And that is going to do it. We defeat the Seattle Seahawks in the Retro Bowl. 42 to 35. What a game. The Los Angeles Chargers, for the first time, are the Retro Bowl champions. Ziggy Peep was named the Retro Bowl MVP, as he should be. Final stats, Whitney had 342 yards, four touchdowns, but an interception, a fumble, and three sacks, which is why he did not win the Retro Bowl MVP. Peep had three touchdowns, 209 yards, and he was the most deserving of that award. I figured it would either go to him or James, because James had two touchdowns and 115 yards, but looking at the stats now, it is clear that Peep deserved that award. And here we are. Los Angeles Chargers are your Retro Bowl 59 champions. There's everybody. Fan poll for your team rating. I'm not going to read all of these, but you can see quite a few Incredibles. And then EJ Wise was terrible. I do agree with that. But now we have our end of the season awards. Wait, do we, do we not win any awards? Are you serious? How do we not win anything? I cannot believe that we didn't win any awards as a team. Whitney didn't win Rookie of the Year. Peep didn't get MVP or Offensive Player of the Year, but I suppose there's more to look forward to next year. I'm not going to let that take away from what we did. We won the Retro Bowl. We are the champions of this season. We fought hard, and in the end, we got it done. So thank you all so much for watching this video. What a season, and what a game for us. I will see you all in a few weeks for the draft.